one now, right? They 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 there now? Muhammad what? Put this on? Yeah, yeah. Alright. It's on this side, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's on this side, right? Okay. I've been bass. Sit down. Turn it. Actually, it's still at, it's recording. Turn it. Is it just is it recording? Yeah, it's just got it in. All right. Yeah. Make them sit down. You said it's on. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على ظالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له الملك الحق المبين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله سيد الوالد أجمعين وصلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما مزيدا إلى يوم الدين we نحمد الله ونشكر لهذه اللقاء المبارك. We thank Allah, we praise Him for this blessed gathering. As we continue to read and benefit from this book by the great Imam Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab rahimahullah, which is titled Kashf al-Shubahat, the Removal of Doubts. We chose to read from Sheikh Bin Baz Ta'aliq, meaning his brief explanation, in order to bring some benefit. So today we reach the chapter Wujub Khawf al Mu'min Min al Wuqur fi Shirk. And the obligation of the believer to be fearful of actually falling into Shirk. For the believer to have fear or to be fearful from actually falling into the matters of Shirk. So Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab from the text from the Matan إِذَا عَرَفْتَ مَا ذَكَرْتُ لَكْ مَعْرِفَةَ قَلْبِ وَأَرَفْتَ أَشْرِكُ بِاللَّهِ الَّذِي قَالَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ أَنْ يُشْرَكُ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلَكْ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ So the Sheikh begins and says that إِذَا عَرَفْتَ مَا ذَكَرْتُ لَكْ مَعْرِفَةَ قَلْبِ That if you know from that which was mentioned if you know and have an understanding in your heart, then you should know that the shirk in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about, in the ayat Allah says, Verily Allah does not forgive that partners be associated with him, but he forgives for anything. He forgives for anything other than shirk to whom he please. وَعَرَفْتَ دِينَ اللَّهِ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ بِهِ الرُّسُلِ من أولهم إلى آخرهم الذي لا يقبل الله من أحد سوى عرفت ما أصبح ما أصبح غالب الناس فيه من الجهل من الجهل بهذا أفاد أفادك فائدتين. So in a matter the Sheikh he goes on to explain that when we understand and we know that the religion in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the messengers from the first of them and from the last of them that Allah doesn't accept from anyone other than that religion from anyone and when we have this and then we come to know and understand that the great ignorance it up. Oh. the great ignorance which the majority of the people have So when we when we 
come to know that وَعَرَفْتَ مَا أَصْبَحَ الْغَالِبَ النَّاسِ فِيهِ مِنَ الْجَهَلِ That we know that the, the majority, that the majority of the great, I yani need to know that the great ignorance of the majority of the people, that they have fallen into these affairs, then we know we take two benefits. الْفَائِدَتَيْنِ So we take two benefits. Al-Ula al-Farhu bi fadlillahi wa bi rahmati. Kama kala Allahu ta'ala fi surati Yunus, kul bi fadlillahi wa rahmatihi, fa bi thalika fal yafrahu wa huwa khayrun mimma yajma'oon. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, or the first benefit is that rejoicing, we suppose to rejoice in the bounty of Allah and His mercy. Just as Allah says in the Quran and Surah Yunus, say, in the bounty of Allah and in His mercy therein, let them rejoice. That this is better than them, than gathering wealth. And also that which we benefit for afadaka aidun, al khawful azim. This is more so like more connected to this chapter. Al khawful azim. Yani this great fear. This great fear for Ennaka Ida Arafta Ennal Insan Yakfiru bi Kalimatin Yukri Juham and Lisanihi. Right? This is important because some some of these matters we don't understand. We just say things and we just talk. It's from our custom for the most part, just to just say anything we want to say. But he says that that we should have great fear from falling into from falling into shirk and the likes. He said, because verily, in the insan yakfuru bi kalimatin, a person can fall into kufr by, by, by a word, by saying a, some speech. Right? Something that he can utter from his mouth, he can say something that put him in a state of kufr. Wahuwa jahil, while he's ignorant. Fala yu'adhar bil jahil. And Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab said, this person is not forgiven, or he's not excused for his ignorance. And he says also a person can say something with the thought and the intention that they're getting closer to Allah. Like remember the mushrikeen, they think that they're doing something good. They had these statements and they're upon shirk, but they think they're upon goodness. They think they're doing something, especially specifically those who call on the grave, those who call on the angels and those who call on the prophets and the like. Remember, the principle is what? They they think that they're doing something to gain nearness to Allah. However, that action is something that puts them in a state of kufr. It takes them out of Islam. Khususan, and he says also specifically, uh, dealing with the, the individuals who have been inspired and they have an understanding, right? Those who have an understanding, Right? Like man qissa an qawmi Musa ma'a salahihim wa ilmihim innahum atahu qailin. Like as we know like with Musa, right? Specifically with Musa, those who had some kind of understanding, right? They had some rectitude and they had knowledge. However, what did these individuals say? Is right? From, from, what, from what I can remember, uh, remember the story of Musa, right? Remember they, he struck the sea. The people got through, right? So once the people, the people who had iman and believe, once they got through and Allah saved them from that calamity, they said after some time got packed, went by, those people, some of those people started committing shirk. Some of those individuals started committing shirk, right? And he said to Musa, This is what the people said after they seen the ayah from Allah saving them. They still, some of those people started committing shirk. And they asked Musa, alayhi salam, make for us an ilaha. Make for us a God as they have God. As they have gods. Right? Fahina idhen yu'adham khawf. He says, so therefore, this, these kind of things should increase us in fear. Wahirusuk ala ma yukhalisuka min hadha wa amthaliha. Right? And we should be eager. We should be eager to free ourselves from this type of stuff. And things which are similar, right? He's talking about having fear, like us being fearful of falling into shirk and being tested in trial with the things that are people from before. So Sheikh bin Baz, he says, فَإِذَا عَرَفْتَ مَا قُلْتَ لَكْ مَعْرِفَةِ الْقَلْبِ 
So he brought the first part of the, the text. And he said that this means, مَا كُتُّ لَكْ مِنْ حَالَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ الْأَوَّلِينَ Right? وَأَنَّهُمْ يَعْرِفُونَ أَنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الْخَالِقَ الرَّازِقَ الْمُدَبِّرَ الْمُحِي وَالْمُمِيتِ وَأَنَّهُمْ أَنَّمَا عَبِدُ الْأَسْنَامُ وَالْأَوْثَانُ وَالْأَشْجَارُ وَالْمَلَائِكَ وَالْأَنْبِيَاءِ Right? So he says that this means that the things that Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab bought from before, meaning the actual state of the mushrikeen al awwalin Yani the first generations of those who committed shirk Then we know that those individuals They knew that Allah was the creator and the provider They understood all of this They understood all of this He was the one who controls the affairs He's the one who brings life He takes death They understood all of this But even with that They still worshipped graves They still worshipped, worshipped uh, idols They still worshipped trees and angels and all of this and what did they use or what was their understanding? They used to say what? إِنَّهُمْ يَشْفَعُونَ لَهُمْ وَيُكَرِّبُونَ هُمْ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَ They used to say that we don't worship them. We only using them as an intercession. As intercession. We're only using them to intercede. We're calling on them so they can call on Allah for us. So this is how the shaitan tricked them, right? يعني مَا عَبَدُوهُمْ عَلَىٰ إِنَّهُمْ يَغْلُكُونَ Right? They, they didn't call on those things as if they can provide or they was creators and like this they only call seeking the intercession they only call seeking the intercession right however they still worship these things these idols right so so, Sheikh bin Baz, rahimahullah, he said they still worship Lat, with the Uzza, with Manat, and all, all of these different idols that the first generations of Mushriks was upon. And he said that they, they only worshipped and they called upon these idols and the likes to seek in nearness. They knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the one who provided. And he was the sustainer. He controls the affairs and like this. وَمَا هَذَا قَاتَلَهُمُ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ وَاسْتَحِلَّ الدَّمَاءَهُمْ وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ حَتَّى يَخْلِصُ, يخلص الْعِبَادَ لِلَّهِ وَحْدَى And even with this, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he fought them, these mushrikeen, these people who called on the righteous, who called on the idols, who called on the angels, who called on the prophets. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he fought them, وَاسْتَحِلَّ الدَّمَاءَهُمْ He made their blood halal وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ And he made their wealth uh, permissible until they uh, freed themselves or purif- purified their worship only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So Sheikh Ben Bazi says, وَعَرَفْتَ الشِّرْكُ بِاللَّهِ الَّذِي قَاتَلَهُمُ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ So that we understand and we know that the shirk in Allah is that which the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم, he fought the mushrikeen for this shirk. And this shirk is what? إِنَّهُ صَرْفَ لِلْعِبَادَةِ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ Shirk is what? When you direct some worship to other than Allah. That's only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kathab. Like slaughtering, wal nadr, right? Like vows, wal istighatha, like seeking aid and assistance, right? We talk about seeking aid and assistance that only Allah can provide. Not like you need to borrow some money from your brother or you need a ride or you need something like this from help. As the ulama explained that. Your brother or your sister might have the kudra, they might have the ability to aid. We're talking about stuff that the people can't do or that the, a stone can't help you. People in the grave can't help. This this is this is shirku billah. This is shirku billah. So he goes on to say, right? This is the greatest of the sins. For an individual to seek baraka and to seek aid and trees and and, and idols and, and, and angels and prophets and the dead and the stars and like this. All of this is shirku billah. Oh, oh, like to prostrate to these things and like this. He says, This is the greatest of the sins. Come and call Allah Ta'ala fi hadha sha'an. As Allah says in Surah Al-Nisa, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bi. That really Allah doesn't forgive that partners associated or associated with him and worship. As Allah also says in Surah An'am, 
ولو أشركوا لحبت عنهم ما كانوا يعملون يعني and if they uh, associate partners with Allah then their deeds or that which they have done will be vain and null and void and also he brought another ayah in Surah Al-Zumar as Allah says and explains that it have been revealed to you as it have been prevailed, have been inspired to those before you that who that if you associate partners with Allah then you, that what you do from actions will be vain and you will be from amongst the losers and you will be from amongst the losers وعرفت دين الدين الإسلام الذي بعث الله به الرسول وأنزل به الكتب we understand that the religion of Allah is that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the messengers for and he has sent down books وَهُوَ التَّوْحِيدَ اللَّهِ وَالْإِخْلَاسُ لَهِ وَطَاعَةُ أَوَامِرْ وَتَرَكَ النَّوَاهِ هَذَا هُوَ دِينَ الْإِسْلَامِ Right? And this is the religion of Islam. This is how we understand Islam. Islam is Tawheed. Right? And Tawheed is what it is. Ikhlas. It's to have Ikhlas, sincerity in Allah. وَطَاعَةُ awamir, And to be obedient. Right? To his commands. وَتَرَكَ النَّوَاهِ And to leave off and to abstain from his prohibitions. This is the religion of Allah. This is the religion in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الدِّينَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الْإِسْلَامِ rarely, rarely the religion with Allah is Islam. Then he goes on to explain, وَدِينَ الْإِسْلَامِ هُوَ دِينَ التَّوْحِيدِ وَالْإِخْلَاسِ لَهُ وَتَرَكَ الْإِشْرَاقِ بِهِ طَاعَةً يعني وَالطَاعَةً أَوَامِرِهِ وَتَرَكَ النَّوَاهِ هَذَا هُوَ الدِّينَ الْإِسْلَامِ Then he went on to explain that which he said before, just making emphasis. But also he says, مَا هُوَ تَقْلِيدُ الْأَعْمَى وَالدَّعْوَ بِالْإِسْلَامِ وَمَا أَشْبَحُ ذَلِكْ مِنْ غَيْرِ النَّذْرِ وَلَا عَقِيدَ لَا He says that, however, we don't just blind follow these calls or these people calling or making these calls and these claims to Islam, right? Without looking and paying attention and looking into the matters and without aqidah. I mean, without a sound ideology. He says, Deen of Islam, aqidah, wal-amal. The religion of Allah is creed. The religion of Islam is creed and it is action. Qawl wal-amal. Statement and action. Ta'rif deen of Islam or ta'rif deen of Allah innahu tawheed Allah wal-ikhlasu lah wal-iman. Right? So he goes on to explain that it is, we understand that the religion, the deen of Allah it is, to, it is having tawheed in Allah and having ikhlas in Allah and having iman and that which he and, and having iman and and his message and having faith in everything that have been in, that we have been informed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger from the affairs of the Jannah and the Nar and other than that. Ma'at tasdiq al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also is upon us to have affirmation and to confirm. That which the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with, وَإِتْبَعُهُ هَذَا هُوَ الدِّينَ الْإِسْلَامِ Right? It goes on to say that we must follow that which we must follow this or follow the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this is the religion of Islam. And this is the religion of Islam. And he goes on to explain like the majority of the people, we don't, we don't, even with these claims, the majority of the people that claim that they Muslim, وَهُمْ يَعْبُدُونَ الْأَشْجَارِ وَالْأَحْجَارِ وَالْأَصْنَامِ because of their ignorance. And we know that Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahhab, he was, call, he was calling, he was calling Muslims or Kafirs? Who was he calling in his dawah, his call? I, uh, well, it, it was a Muslim, it was Muslims, but it was in a Muslim area, I mean in the Arabian Peninsula, but they was upon shirk. They was worshiping the graves and like this, because this is something that takes you out of the fold of Islam. No, it's no excuses, that's it. It's shirk. So whether you say la ilaha illallah, you pray, you do this, it don't matter. If you were going to the graves, to the tombs, and calling on these people, and like this, it's shirk. So this is one of the trials that Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab had in his time. This is why we understand that, like Kitab al-Tawheed, Rasul al-Thalatha, Kawad Arabah, Kashf al-Shubahat, it's mainly dealing with Tawheed al-Uluhiyah, right? Because Tawheed al the Tawheed al-Rububiyah, they affirm this. Even the Mushrikeen of our time. And even before, they all, I guess, you're not going to find a calf except that they say Allah is the one who creates and sustains and like this. They affirm this, but 
they have their ghalat, they have their issues and they err, and to he al uluhiya. Right, so he goes on to explain to, and to go more into this more of uh, dealing with this fear. So he goes on, وَعَرَفْتَ أَنَّ الْإِنسَانِ قَدْ يَفْرْ بِكَلِمَاتِ تَصْدُرْ مِنْ لِسَانِ He goes on to explain that an individual that we know and we understand that an individual can leave, can leave the foes of Islam or go in a state of kufr because of a statement that comes from his tongue. And a person might say it, he might be ignorant. Right? And he might believe that he's gaining nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He might believe that he's actually, he's gaining nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like he might, in Yusuf al like he might uh, curse the religion. Right? Defame the religion. He might play with the religion. فَيَكْفُرْ بِهَا وَهُوَ لَيْسَ لَهُ بَصِيرَ فِي هَذَا الْأَمْرِ like like this can you uh, kafir? Yani this could take a person out of the fools of Islam, while they don't even have any insight or any understanding of these matters. They can curse Allah, and they can they can they can you know defame Allah. They can defame the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They can play and make jokes and mockery. Right? Oh yajhad ma ojabah Allah. This is dangerous too. A person could deny something that's an obligation. Right? Like we know that there's a big issue. A person who leaves the salat, amden, right, meaning intentional. Does this take them out of the folds of Islam? Right? The jamhur, the majority of the scholars say that this takes them out. Right? And then you got two issues. You got when a person is 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 intentionally like not praying, right? But then you might not be doing it because of laziness. And some of the ulama they say that this just takes a person out of Islam. And Sheikh bin Baz, rahimahullah, he said, you kafir. This takes a person out of the fold of Islam. Now, if an individual believe that the salat is not wajib, then it's ijma' daily if they left Islam. Right? If a person believe that something that's obligated is not obligated, then this is different. That, this takes them out of Islam. Or a person makes something haram, halal, or it makes it permissible. Right? فَيَكْفِرْ بِذَلِكَ Right? Then this takes a person out of the folds of Islam. It takes a person out of the folds of Islam. These matters are real serious and need to be taken, you know, and dealt with in caution. So he says, when we understand these things, we know and And we know that Allah has given us two uh, benefits. The first benefit, al farha bi wa rahmatihi. He says that yani, we rejoice about Allah's fadl, right? His bounty and his mercy. What does this mean? Ya'ana lamma manna Allah alayka bihadha al-in wal-basira tafrahu bi fadlillah wa bi rahmati. And this, this is an issue with us, a lot of us. Meaning, of course, we know we got different people in, our, in the communities and different people around. But for the most part, we, we, we really don't appreciate this the great ni'mah that Allah have given us by guiding us to Islam especially from what the majority of us come from and not only Islam but guiding us to the sunnah and guiding us to salafiyah which is even more like we was really chosen right so he says that this means lamma manna Allah alayka bihadha al-ilm wal-basira tafrahu bi fadlillahi wa bi rahmati so when we know that Allah have given us this bounty and favor and this blessing by giving us some knowledge and giving us some basira, some insight, then we're supposed to rejoice about this bounty of Allah and His mercy. Fadl Allah and Hadaka lil Islam. Allah favored us, right, with His bounty by guiding us to Islam, by making us from the people of Islam, by giving us an understanding of Islam, right, from Allah's bounty and from His mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He chose us and he he benefited us tremendously as Allah says in the ayah that he brought that Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab brung kul bi fadlillahi wa rahmatihi fa bi thalika fal yafrahu wa huwa khayru mimma yajma'un Allah says and, and say to them in the bounty of Allah and his mercies therein let them rejoice let them rejoice and let them know that this is better than gathering wealth this is better than gathering wealth Tafrahu Allah Sharaha Sadruk. 
We're supposed to rejoice that Allah, he opened up our hearts. And Allah, he taught us and he gave us an understanding of the religion. And he guided us and he showed his mercy on us. All the way to the point that we are from the people of this great ni'mah, this great ni'mah of Islam, this great ni'mah of Tawheed. So that's the first benefit. That we must be thankful. That we must rejoice upon this bounty Allah given us, especially Ahl Sunnah. Specifically, Khususan, Ahl Sunnah, the Salafis. Allah have given us even more insight, had directed us to the to the people of, of light, the people of Basir, of insight. The second benefit is khawf, to khawf and tasiba ma asaba nas. And this is another thing that we deal with that we might be laxed on. That we supposed to have fear that we don't be tested and afflicted with the things that the people was afflicted with from the past. You know, these people who was upon shirk, they think that they was upon goodness. Here we is, we had the Arabian Peninsula. That was that was the area of the Prophet Wasallam. This is the area of Tawheed. This was the start of it. Yet you had people was for, was calling the grave, calling the graves, and like this. He says, Khauf, that we should fear that we not afflicted with the things that they have been afflicted with. That we don't be ruined in the likes. Then he brought this ayah in Surah Al-Muk. Uh, yeah, Allah speaks and he says that really is for the one who has yani khashya, the one who has uh, dread or, or fear of their Lord while they can't see him meaning بالغيب. we can't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them is, is forgiveness and a great reward right and as we know Allah says فَلَا تَخَافُوهُمْ Allah says, do not fear them, but fear me if you are truly believers. And all these ayats that deal with uh, specifically fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we should be fearful to be dealing with these things. Sheikh bin Baz, he says that we should be fearful of falling into shirk. And we always bring this to, you know, so a lot of us might fall into major shirk. Because some people think that you got to bow down to an idol or you got to call on Jesus and the likes, that this is the only form of shirk. Not knowing as the brother studied to Kitab al and the likes, you got shirk fil muhabba. Some of us might fall into it. Shirk fil khawf, you know, shirk fil love, the shirk that deals with fear, shirk fil ta'a, you know, the, 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 the shirk associating partners with Allah, dealing with uh, obedience and the likes. He says that we should really fear antaqa fi shirk, antardad an adinik, or even apostating. Like we know people who apostated. You'd be like, whoa, like I know him. I would have never thought that. Or a sister, I would have never thought that. We don't know what's in what's in people's hearts, or that which we brewing and remedy we in the hands of our Rahman, right? We don't know how it's gonna be. They said we should fear these things. He said we should fear antudhur ad dunya al akhira. That we should fear from being no, from those who choose this dunya over the next life. وَتَخَافْ وَتَحْذَرْ وَتُحَذَّرْ yani We should fear and we should be cautious. Right? We should fear and we should be cautious. And we should rejoice that this great bounty and ni'mah that Allah have given us, which is Islam. We should, be, we should be thankful of this and we should be fearful of these things that people are being tested with and have been tested. So we're going to bring a couple more. Nah. We're going to bring two, the, two more paragraphs, inshallah, and we're going to wrap it up. So he says, كذلك المؤمن يكون خوفا. Right? He says, also that the believer that should be fearful. Right? And they should be cautious. And do not be comfortable. Don't be comfortable with, uh, like, having this security. Like, we know we're going to die upon Islam. We know we're going to die upon the sunnah like this. And he brought the ayah in Surah An'am, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبِسُوا إِيمَانُهُمْ بِذُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنُ وَهُمْ مُحْتَدُونَ Right? Those who have iman do not mix your iman with dhum. And dhum, as the ulama explained, this is one of Sheikh Urbay's fav- uh, favorite ayah, well, he mentions it a lot. Dhum here means shirk. أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنُ I mean, they, they would be the ones who have the security وَهُمْ مُحْتَدُونَ And they are guided. And they are those who are guided. So he says, These are those who have true faith. 
ومن الإيمان الخوف من الله والخش والخشية له والرجاءه وتعظيمه. Right? And he says, and from faith, and from having iman in Allah, is that you fear, you have be fear from Allah. Right? That you have this dread, and that you have this hope, and that you praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wal ikhlasu lahu wa thabat ala deen. And, we, and you have ikhlas, you have sincerity, and you try to be firm upon a religion. Kullu hadha dakhil fil iman. Sheikh bin Bazi says, all of this enters or falls into the realms of iman. He says that these individuals are those who have security and guidance. And the reason of that is that they had iman, was sidqihim, they was truthful, was ikhlasihim, they were sincere. Wa khawfihim min Allah, right? And they had they was fearful of Allah, wa inayatihim bidinihim. And they had they show concern. And uh, like great, a high level of concern in their, of their religion, right? And they was caution about the ways of shirk of evil. So he bring this statement. And this is one of the statements that you hear often, which is a, a, a major statement, something that we reflect on. He says, "Qala ibn Abi Malika, rahimahullah, at tabi jalil." Right? This famous tabi'i. He says, ad, ad, uh, ad, uh, min ashab Nabi sallallahu He said that I have came across and I have met thirty companions of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ma fihim min yaku innu ala iman al Jibrail wa Mikail. Right. So he says that he none of them would say that they had firm faith, like the faith of Jibril or Mikail. These are the companions of, of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The best of the people, those who's high, who was high in iman, he says, "Bel kulluhum yaqafal nifaq ala nafsi." Rather, all of them fear for hip- hypocrisy. Allah, kulluhum yaqaf, kulluhum yaqaf, kulluhum yahdar. All of them was fe- if was 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 fearful, and all of them was cautious. All of them was fearful, and all of them was cautious. Then there's two more narrations. He brung the narration where the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub thabbat qalbi ala dinik." The famous night with the famous uh, hadith where the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made the du'a, "O oh, change of the hearts, please make my heart firm in your religion." Sheikh Ben Baz he says, "Wa huwa Nabi Allah, wa huwa Rasul Allah, afdal al khalq alay salatu wa salam." So he says that this was the Messenger of Allah, this was the Prophet of Allah, the most virtuous. The most virtuous from the creation, right? And yet he will make this du'a, right? And then he says, "Wa yakulu amma wallahi." Another narration. The Prophet Sallallahu said, "Amma wallahi, inni la akshakum akshakum Allah wa atqakum la." Well, the Prophet Sallallahu he swore by Allah. He says that verily I am the most fearful of Allah and from among you. And I am the most, I have the most taqwa of Allah from amongst you. And Sheikh Ben Baz, he says that this was a, 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 a this was a, a oath, right? <laughs> that a Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he swore by Allah that he was the most fearful from, among, from amongst the nas, from amongst people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa innahu akhwa nas min Allah, right? The yeah, people, the brothers who study in Arabic, right? It's khawf. You got ism tafdil, Right? Like you got Hassan or Ahsan. So you got like something that is good and something that is, is like even better. Right? So you got Khawf, which is fear, then Akhwaf. Right? Like most fearful. Right? Or you got uh, like uh, Kabir. Or you got Kabira or Akbar. Right? We say Allah Akbar. Like this is called Ism Tafdeel. Right? So he says Akhwaf. Aqwa fa nas min Allah, the most fearful from Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right? Walladhi nafsi bi yadi inni la akhshakum Allah wa atqaqum lah. Right? He says that by the, you know, walladhi nafsi bi yadi, by the one whom hand my soul is in, verily I am the most fearful of Allah and I have the most taqwa of Allah. Wa faqahu Allahu jameer. Let me stop there. A little bit of time for the salah. Yeah, yeah, it's time for the salah. Oh, 
اسم تفديل yeah, اسم تفديل like اكبر احسن اجوف احسن Yeah. Mm.